welcome to another Pest Tech Pest Control video. I was in our office in Norellan just this week and looked out the window and coming across Norellan Road in a great big cloud was a swarm of bees. You can see them there. There were thousands and thousands of them. So much so that I can see them probably 800 metres away in a cloud crossing the road. So, of course, with my keen interest in insects, I thought I'd better go and have a look and see where they're going to go. These are the guys that, when they swarm like this to go off and found um, a new nesting site, if they come across a weak hole in a house or a, a small hole in the eaves of a house or something like that, that can be a perfect nesting site. Now, because they're not great strong flyers, if it gets windy or at night, they really can't fly. So this was about four o'clock in the afternoon and they have started to gather here on a tree branch where they're going to rest overnight. I only had a relatively low quality camera with me when I raced out of the office to have a look at this. But all of these bees are starting to land in the one spot. If I could hold the camera still, it would be very good. They're landing in this one spot on a branch. And occasionally you'll see the branch drop when I can hold the camera still. It'll drop slightly because the bees increasing in mass in weight on that branch so uh, they're just collectively starting to sit in the same spot and I don't know how many bees are out there, there were there uh, certainly tens of thousands and they were just constantly flying around but they're doing it with purpose and they are flying in, you can see a little bit of there in the bottom right, a clump. You can see the branch move down there. That's not from wind, that's from the weight of the bees. Now, 
is often in our houses and so whenever uh, a beehive sets up in your home, you really do need to take steps to get rid of it as soon as this what the bees do, make a whole lot of honey. And I can tell you, if you've got a lot of honey in your wall, you've got trouble. Now we're looking at some footage that I actually took the next day when I had a video camera with me. And you can see sort of the two defined clumps of bees. There are a lot of bees there. It's now three days since I first saw them swarming and they are still in the tree so it's it's interesting you can see with the, that bottom clump of bees how far down that branch is hanging because of the weight there are a lot of bees there very interesting stuff if you find bees around your home make sure to do something about it sooner rather than later I have seen some disastrous things because bees really create quite a lot of warmth and uh, I've actually seen paint blister from the heat that is created from a beehive. Then when the bees were moved on, there was so much honey in the wall, the wall had to be accessed and the honey taken out because the ant issue that then ensued was just amazing. 